soon show up at Off Track betting locations. Plus, it's the time of year to remember your life best. We begin tonight with a massive caterpillar infestation in our area. This is the Valley Report. I'm Marie Jones. And I'm George Roberts. Gypsy moth caterpillars can eat their way through a forest in a few months they're active. And right now, they're plaguing northeastern Pennsylvania. News 13's Dan Snyder joins us now with more on that. Dan? Yeah, guys, and today we spoke with a resident who's at a complete loss after seeing what these insects did to her trees. And now, she's calling for the state to make sure this never happens again. They're crawling in the grass. They're getting under the vinyl siding. They're on the house. The trees... The bushes, my my shed, you can't even go over there to open the door. A native New Yorker, Lorraine Pierre was drawn to our area a decade ago for one reason. I moved to Pennsylvania for trees. But at a time when they should be at their peak, those trees are fading fast, and the culprit is a massive infestation of gypsy moth caterpillars. It was just an explosion of these caterpillars everywhere. You couldn't stop them anymore. I would spray. We just couldn't do it anymore. And they just took over. Pierre isn't alone. Her entire neighborhood in the Tall Oaks section of Franklin Township seems to be infected, as does the rest of northeastern Pennsylvania. I think it might be 30 years since we had a big year for gypsy moths. As of now, the state requires at least 23 acres and some county sponsorship to spray in residential areas. Carbon County did offer the program this spring, and Pierre gathered her neighbors to sign up. However, by the time they applied, county officials say the deadline had passed. State officials do admit their current spraying methods have some flaws. We don't spray uh, maybe two or five of the trees because for a helicopter, fuel, and spray materials looming large, there's not much the state can do. But for Pierre and residents like her, that answer isn't good enough. The state needs to step up and take control of this. Officials say the best thing homeowners can do right now is make note of their current infestation and report it to the county spraying coordinator. That way they can get you set up for next year's spraying. For tips on how to remove caterpillars from your property, visit DCNR's website. Dan Snyder, News 13. George? All right. Thanks, Dan. Well, Apple is making their iPhones harder.